Okay, so this video will be looking at your non-dominant uh, hand doing one-handed ties. So remember, you're right-handed, one-handed. If you're right-handed, you're going to be doing left-handed, one-handed ties. And if for some reason the attending is asking you to tie, and you have to tie a knot in the pelvis for them, you're going to be doing right-handed, one-handed ties. It's important to know how to do both uh, one-handed and sorry, both left-handed, one-handed ties and right-handed, one-handed ties. But very rarely have I ever been in a situation where I had to tie a one-handed tie for the other surgeon. So again, if you're on the right side, take, say the attending comes here, makes the suture, comes here, say they're doing something, you have to tie one-handed tie. So now, see the free end is in my right hand. So now I'm unable to tie a left-handed, one-handed tie, which is what I've been practicing the whole time in the call room, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now I have to make sure I know in this rare situation how to do a right-handed, one-handed tie. So again, you're stuck in this situation. Always see which strand is already laid out for you. In this situation, your free end is under. Say the free end is over. You do a one-handed, uh, an index finger, one-handed finger, one-handed tie. But if it was under, you'd have to start with your middle finger so again let's say you're starting over you're going to do an index finger one-handed tie so when you're doing index one finger one one-handed ties you hold the suture with your middle finger and your thumb you make the loop over your index finger and your index finger has to pull the knot through cinch it down now remember you just did an index finger one-handed tie you have to do a middle finger one-handed tie. When you're doing your middle finger one-handed tie, you got to hold the suture between your index finger and thumb. Going to make the loop with your with your middle finger. And grab the suture, pull it through. And again, you're going to have to cross your hands to lay it flat. Okay? Very hard to do, but that's why it's important to get your fingers way down here. To make sure you tie the suture down. So now you're going to go back to your index finger one-handed tie, so you're going to hold the suture between your middle finger and thumb, cross, so make the loop over your index finger, index finger is going to grab it and pull it to the other side, lay it flat. Now we're back on the middle finger, so I'm going to be an index finger and, middle, and thumb, you make the loop over your, th over your middle finger, middle finger will pull it through, you want to cross, lay it nice and flat, okay? This is all in an ideal world where you're not down in the pelvis and otherwise everything's fine so that is your right-handed one-handed tie but um, we'll go into more advanced techniques with actual suture in a second and more practical knot tying solutions